Good morning, people. Welcome to, well, a spell video. Can you guys believe it? It's been a while. I am bringing it back. So I asked you guys what you want me to film now that I have time in the weekends. And Rena Bell, I'm not sure. You asked if I could do a successful new business spell. So that is what we are doing today. I'm probably going to show different kind of ways you can do it. You guys know when I do spells, it's simple, easy, straight on. And it always involves sympathetic magic, runes, candles, and today cinnamon sticks. So let's just uh, go through it. I think this needs to be clean a little bit <laughs> and charged but I've been looking for this for a very long time like I think one hour and it was at a place where I already looked <laughs> typical first of all today we are going to bind runes together I don't think we have done that maybe we have done that but not like this not so many I have already drawn the rune that I have binded <laughs> together on a um, um, bay leaf. I was just about to say it in Danish. Lauerbeerblau. <laughs> because bay leaves are the best to use when you manifest success, abundance, miracles, everything in between. I have two bay leaves because I'm going to show you guys two ways because most of you guys probably have tea leaves oh, tea, tea leaves <laughs> tea candles right because that's the easiest so I'm gonna show how to do this spell with a tea candle did I say that before <laughs> um, besides that we are going to use the birthday candles that we always use I love to use these Normally, I probably would use green, but I don't have any more green birthday candles, unfortunately. But, as you guys know, with sympathetic magic, if you use white, you can put the intention into it, the intention of green. And uh, obviously, the bay leaf is green, right? Yeah. I have a yellow one because I had this thought that... If you want to manifest a successful new business, you also want to manifest happy customers. So that's why I chose a yellow candle, because then we can do an even simpler spell by simply writing happy customers on the candle with something sharp and then burn it. It's the easiest way to do it. So you guys might be like, why birthday candles? Because they burn fast. Obviously you can use big candles, but I like when the candle is burned all the way through. Then I feel like the spell is, it has done what it's supposed to do. Yeah. So that's why we use tiny candles. I mean, you also need to pay attention, right? Pay attention to the candles. Don't uh, leave them out of sight. <laughs> So that is why I picked a yellow one, a happy one. So you can um, write or carve in, I attract only happy customers or simply happy customers. Again, because you know what it is you want to attract. I'm not going to do it, but I just wanted to talk about it because I only found one. I don't know what the other one is. So we have the white one. And I'm not gonna carve anything into it. Normally I do that, but we have the bay leaf. So we're going to do it this way. 515 travel number. Which is interesting because I have um, oracles here. Because you can obviously also, in this combination, use oracles, tarot, um, pictures of whatever it is. If you have printed something out or, I mean, if there's something on your phone, you can put your phone next to the candle but obviously you need to be able to be without your phone for the amount of time 
or you can write things down on a piece of paper. I'm trying to do this as easy as I can so that I just explain to you guys what we are using. When it comes to the oracle, obviously depending on what it is that you want to manifest, but now it's based on success, right? So I found a card that has success written on it. So obviously that's what we're going to use. But I also, for myself, chose the adventure, adventurers card because I do want to travel more. So those two cards is what I'm going to, to use. I also have tarot and I picked out a few because that I always feel like it's obviously it depends on how many cards you want <laughs> what you feel comfortable with and also what it is that you want to manifest right so I picked out these four you can use all four or you can simply choose one of them I chose the queen of wands because she is a creative Queen. She is the optimistic queen, right? I always want to be filled with ideas and I always want to be optimistic about my manifestations. Then Ace of Wands, because obviously new beginnings, right? Amazing ideas, good news. Same with the Ace of Pentacles, good news and money, new beginnings and money. And obviously the Emperor. He stands for being self employed, right? I could also have taken the Empress, but. Yeah, being determined, being action taken at the right time. You really need to sit down and while you create your candle or write things down or draw or whatever it is, just really, you know, speak things into, ex into existence. That is the easiest, create stories. So when it comes to the binding runes, I have used four runes today. I am going to obviously show you guys so that you know how to draw it. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect. You put the energy into the rune, right? This one looks a little bit different. This is the one that I'm going to use for the tea leaf. Well, it doesn't look different, but again, no. Always a little bit different, I guess. And I also wrote down the runes or draw, drew. them down so that you guys know what I'm talking about. So the first one is Feu. It is the rune of wealth and rewards. Then we have Tivas, which is the rune of wealth and success. And then we have Dagas, which is also once again the rune of success and wealth. I know a lot of you guys, you actually do love um, Dagas. It's easy to use. It has a very flowy energy. So obviously, even if it has the same energy, kind of, as Tivas, it has an even stronger masculine energy, I feel, um, the Dagas rune. So I feel it fits well with the Emperor. I feel Tivas sometimes can come over a little bit more softer, in a way. So it's a, it's a, it's a magical spice <laughs> of runes. You guys did learn... Um, about the wealth rune. I have not used it here because I feel like the wealth rune is a rune by itself. I don't like to do binding with that rune. I don't know why. <laughs> I just simply don't. <laughs> so that's why I chose these. And obviously the last one is uh, Othala. It is the rune of wealth. So a very spicy, delicious 11-11 by the way, um, cocktail of runes that we are using today and that is you know this combination might be hard to see but again just do your best to bind them you can do it like i did you can obviously do it in a completely different way if you want but yeah looks like something iron man would do the iron man energy is also good so 1144 with that again the signs the symbols Another thing I do want to mention is gratitude stones. This comes down to the secret. If you have seen or read the secret, mm -hmm. I saw the movie many, 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 many years ago, and 
that was at that time that I started my business and it was at that time that I found my gratitude stone. So it's always with me. Sometimes, you know, it's not always on me. In the beginning, I always had it on me because the point is to every day you take it out of your pocket um, <clears throat> and you place it on your drawer or whatever table and then you feel grateful for all the things you feel grateful for. But this has really helped me when it comes to building my business and my customers who always come back and I have customers who come from other countries as well, which is sometimes crazy to think about that I have customers who decide to travel very far to have their t pictures taken. <laughs> I had customers yesterday and they were so sweet because they explained to me that the reason why they came to me was because of all the things they have heard about me and one thing that people people always point out is that it's not always the service that i that i do when it comes to business and, and that's very very important when it comes to being a business owner having clients it's not only what people buy it's also the adventure in it or the experience people receive this energy of like taking the time when it comes to your clients, not stressing, making sure that they feel comfortable, talking with them. And it's something I always forget that that is what I do. But my customers that I had yesterday, they pointed that out. And it made me realize at the end of the day when I was looking in, at my crystal basket that I had a gratitude stone and I was like holding it and I was just having a moment where I was just grateful. So, gratitude stones, it doesn't have to look like this. It's whatever you find, whatever you feel is your gratitude stone. It doesn't have to be special. You can find it um, near water. I like, I mean, yeah, I like to find stones, gratitude stones that is connected with water because water is very, very powerful. So, yeah. Found it on the beach. But have a gratitude stone. And in the beginning, I feel, because that's what I did, it's very important to have it on you or with you. And again, have this routine where you, in the morning, you put it in your pocket or wherever, where it's close to you. And in the evening, you take it out and you touch it and you feel grateful for all the things, okay? For all the things to come, for all the things that has been. So, yeah, I will place that as well, as well. I'm going to show you guys how I put everything up. What else? Um, if you have runes, you can obviously place the runes as well. I also have the normal, the normal runes. So I probably also could see if I can find, could find the runes we're using today. Um, yeah. Let's do that. If I have them all, we have one here. There's like one stone. That could be a gratitude stone. It doesn't really have anything on it. Gratitude stone doesn't have to be um, a big one. Okay. What else do we have here? Just, you know, be gentle with this, the, crys the crystals, <laughs> the runes, because they are very powerful. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. What is it that I don't have here? Oh, here. I actually have them. Nice. Haven't really used the runes for a while. Maybe we should use that in the daily. Okay. So we have the runes here that I'm also going to use. Wow, that's all. That is really. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I take the white, putting the green money energy into it. I have white threads. You can use green, you can use um, brown, whatever it is that you fancy. I always use white because white is just pure, and again, you can put whatever energy into it. Then we take the big boy. Placing the rune on 
into the candle. <laughs> and do not panic if the bay leaf um, breaks. Because obviously it is not always bendy. But you can, you know, twist it a little bit. And then you simply do this. I mean, this is so fun. Who would have thought that this is what I do today? Actually, interesting with the um, weekend reading, right? With the, uh, the success. It's always a reason. And it's with my big ass scissor. So obviously, for me, this is also success when it comes to the photography business, but also when it comes to YouTube, obviously. And it's funny because with my other customers, they are living a little bit further up in the country, and they actually talked about that I should do more collab photo shoots, like event photo shoots, which is actually genius. I have done it in the past, but it's been a while. So again, yeah. Okay, there you go. Easy peasy. Is it even focused on it? I think it is, right? <laughs> so, there was actually something else I wanted to use because I have some oil that I got from LA. But actually, I'm gonna see if I can find it. I don't wanna use it. I actually think it's leaking a little bit. Oh boy. But it's this one. It's like a money mix. There's like a threaded um, dollar thing in it. I think it's a, I don't know if it's a one dollar. There's like pines, other things. Tiger eye. Tiger eye is actually also a brilliant crystal to use when it comes to this. You can have the bracelet on, connect it, then. So. Ah. Just going to take a little bit, put it on my fingers and put it on the candle. Yes, there you go. Now that is ready. Oh my god, we are being so <laughs> creative with spells. When it comes to this baby, the thing you do is that after you, I also put the oil on that, after you, um, you paint your rune, you put the intention into the tea leaf in the combination with it. Visualize whatever you want, and then you do this, put it to pieces. My god, this is fun. We are going to be so successful, people. I hope you guys can feel it. So, simply do it like that, and then we light the candle after. So, another thing you can do, you don't have to do all the steps that I do, but it's just, again, either it's one step you do, it's two steps, it's in the combination. Oh my god. Oh wow. Just the smell of it brings um, luck. 23-23. This is something you can do just by itself. You can uh, light it, just put it around yourself, or you can put it around the candle. Sometimes they are a little bit um, harder to burn, so you have to be patient with it. It smells delicious, and again, cinnamon. Well, I got a panic. <laughs> cinnamon is just um, very powerful for manifesting abundance. So, as you can see, we have um, smoke. We just put it around. Or again, if you just feel one day that you need a little money shebang bang or manifestation, you do it around yourself. <laughs> Too late. Now you guys are going to have good luck. Yeah. Putting it around everything. That's it. Then we can just put it down again. I think that's actually all. So now... I'm going to put it all behind me and then I'm going to show you guys. So this is how I just put it down. Just make sure that the runes are obviously facing the right way up. 
So it doesn't have to be perfect, just, you know, however you feel. Sometimes I put the candle on the card, sometimes I just put it next to it. The other spell candle I put here, just to make sure, because obviously bay leaf does have a tendency to um, do a little mm, mm, tiny firework situation sometimes. <laughs> so now, let's see if I can uh, do this while filming. You simply put your candle on. And you let it burn completely down. There you go. I <laughs> wanted to show you guys how it looks when it's burning. And that's actually it, people. So easy and so fun. It doesn't take long to create these spells. And like I said, you simply just, you know, you let it burn out. You let it do its thing. It's thing. And that's actually it. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was very fun. I will create more. So put it in a comment if there's something else I should film for the future. And then I hope you guys will have a magical day. Bye. Have fun manifesting success. <laughs>